Today we're going to introduce to you the American College of Sports Medicine's version of the standard push-up test. Um, push-up tests are a good indicator of upper body muscular endurance and to some extent muscular strength. Now we will show you the proper technique and uh, safety cues and modifications. As I stated before, the purpose of this test is to test the muscular endurance of someone and in order to do this they have to do the um, certain amount of push-ups to failure. And you start out, there are two different types of um, protocol. There's one for men and women. And for the men, they start on the ground with their hands uh, shoulder width apart and with their elbows fully extended and their um, legs and back straight. Just like this. For administration of this test, in order for a repetition to count for the participant, the participant must lower themselves down until they touch a fist with their chest. Once they have done this, then they move themselves up to the initial position, extend their elbows, and then that counts as one repetition. The standard protocol for women in this push-up test is similar to the men. They um, get down on the ground with their hands shoulder width apart. But instead of them um, keeping their, their body straight, they instead, their knees contact the ground, their knees are flexed at a 90 degree angle, and their ankles are crossed. Now with women, they, in order to get an accurate number of repetitions, they are required to lower themselves down until their chest comes in contact with a foam roller or an object of similar size. Once they have, their chest has come in contact with a foam roller, they then push themselves up until they are back into the initial position. A few other things that you need to remember when administering this test are the safety of the, of the uh, environment in which the test is being performed. You need to make sure that the temperature of the room is suitable for the, uh, the person who's being tested. And you also need to make sure there is adequate space in the room for the person that is being tested. 